Now the question number 31 says, which among the following relations can be deduced from the dimensional analysis? Symbols have their usual meanings. The first is t is equal to 2 pi root of L by g. Second is s equal to ut plus half a t square, both 1 and 2 and neither 1 nor 2. So dear student, the question says that can you derive these relation first and second using dimension analysis? We can't derive the first relation because here 2 pi is a constant and the constant cannot be derived by dimension analysis, right? And likewise, this plus sign, because whenever you derive the relationship, it's only through multiply and division, but not with the plus sign. So even the second option is wrong because of this plus sign. So both and one and two cannot be derived. So answer to this question is option number four. Now the question number 32 says that the thickness of a cylinder measured using a screw gauze of the least count 0 0.01 centimeter is found to be 0 0.80 centimeter. The percentage are in the measurement. Now, dear student, the least count is given and least count is 0 0.01 centimeter. That become the uncertainty. So this would be your error 0 0.01 centimeter whereas your measurement of thickness is 0 0.80 centimeter and the percentage error is the error over the absolute value multiplied by 100. So this become 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.80 whole multiplied by 100. So this is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.8 and 1 divided by 0 0.8 is equal to 10 by 8 is 1.25 percent. So error in the measurement of the thickness of the cylinder is 1.25. So option number 2 is correct. So answer is 2. So let's go to the next problem. Now dear student, question number 33 reads, the scientific principle on which the electron microscope is based is the Bernoulli's principle, the wave nature of matter, the photoelectric effect or superconductivity. So this is a factual question. Electron microscope works on the wave nature of the matter. The electron has the wave character. So the answer to this question is option number 2. Question number 34. The question says that a small stone is dropped from the top of a long tower. The ratio of the distance traveled by the particle between t is equal to 5 second to t is equal to 10 second and from t is equal to 15 second to t is equal to 20 second is these are the four options given. A stone is dropped from here and downward direction I take as positive acceleration as g and it's dropped from here with u to be 0. The distance travel between t is equal to 5 to t is equal to 10. Remember students from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 second. Let's say this particle cover a distance of h1 and from t is equal to 5 to t is equal to 10 second, it covers a distance of h2. From t is equal to 10 second to t is equal to 15 second, cover a distance of h3 during free fall. And from 15 to 20 second, it covers a distance of h4. Then by Galileo's law of odd number with the u to be 0, h1, h2, h3, h4 for equal time interval, this distance during first 5 second, next 5 second, next 5 second equal time interval, the ratio will be 1, 3, 5, 7. And you have to find between 5 and 10 this value and that is equal to 3 and between 15 to 20, it is 7. So the correct ratio will be equal to 3 as to 7. And the answer to this option is option number 2. So let's move to the next problem. Question number 35 says that consider the motion of the hours hand of a clock. The displacement of hour hand will be 0 in 1 hour, 1 minute, 12 hours or 6 hours. And yes, we really know that if hour hand clock start from here, then 
it will turn back to the same spot after a time of 12 hour and in 12 hours its displacement of the tip become equal to 0 therefore option to this question displacement will be 0 is 12 hours the answer to this question is option number 3